What's going on guys, it's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about something very simple and quick. Uh, this video is probably going to be really short. I'm still feeling a little under the weather and haven't been able to get back to my regular um, posting schedule. And I just wanted to come out here and make this quick video. Um, so... 2023 is coming to an end. I'm making a lot of my year-end videos that I want to talk about. Um, and one thing I want to talk about specifically is needle drops. Uh, I'm going to be mostly talking about just needle drops in a uh, very, like, nerd fandom-related movies. So, like, Marvel movies, uh, Transformers movies, anything like that. Um, so, that being said, I want to just go ahead and talk about the beauty of needle drops and talk about some of my favorite ones that I've, we've had this year because I feel like there's been some pretty good ones. So, Obviously, when you first start talking about needle drops, um, something that really will immediately come to mind is any like big character moments where someone's like entering um, a scene or somebody's like starting to do something really cool and the music just starts kicking in right when it starts. Um, so obviously, big entrances. We're going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the hallway scene fight set to the Beastie Boys, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. I thought that that was an incredible needle drop and I thought it was really good. And uh, that entire hallway fight sequence set to that song was great. And I think that uh, the way that they played that in the movie was really good. And then another really cool entrance that I really liked was Bumblebees in um, the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. I feel like a lot of the stuff with that movie wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be but specifically that scene towards the end of the battle um when Bumblebee comes back and he has this big like comeback moment and they play Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J it was just such a perfect song selection and I love the whole don't call it a comeback I've been here for years and then him just boom like blasting the music and the fact that it was a diegetic song would worked really well as well and i like the fact that it just showed bumblebee being like so extra and over the top like he is and i thought that that was a really good character moment i thought that worked well um and uh on the vein of those two i mentioned guardians of the galaxy volume 3 i feel like you can't talk about guardians of the galaxy volume 3 without talking about how beautiful the needle drop the dog days are over was for that movie um i think that that florence and the machine song was a really really good pick for that movie and I think that it was a very symbolic song as well because each of those characters have been incredibly traumatized throughout the years I mean Nebula has literally been taken apart and put back together so many times and Rocket has been taken apart and put together so many times and they're all very broken characters who've come together to find this like newfound family and I love the way that each of the characters end their journey in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and having that final sequence of them all dancing together one last time was absolutely beautiful, incredibly emotional, and picking a song that is as triumphant as the dog days are over is great because they finally overcame all of the stuff that they've been struggling with throughout all of the movies and a very, very satisfying conclusion to that trilogy. I don't think I talk about enough how much I love that movie and I think when I'm ranking all of the movies that have came out this year, it's gonna be hard to figure out where I'm putting that one because it might be in my top three. I don't know yet. <clears throat> but yeah next movie i want to talk about um a little movie called teenage mutant what teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem um that was a really good movie and i really enjoyed it i like the fact that they included a lot of different songs i think that um some songs that really deserve a shout out is um when they played uh, i believe it's called castle in the sky or something like that but the song where it says you know i'm super fly you know i'm super fly whenever Superfly showed up that was great. I love that. And whoever decided to cast Ice Cube as Superfly was just brilliant. I absolutely loved it. And I love the fact that he came out there and he started saying curse words. And, like, people were like, what? Because, like, a lot of people don't realize you could use certain curse words in PG. And they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And, and, like, it was just such a great villain for that movie. I think that it worked incredibly well. And, uh, like I said, Ice Cube was just perfect casting for it because he was so chill. <laughs> Six in the morning, police at my door. He was super fly, um, as, you know, the pun that they kind of intended with that name was. Um, and then another thing that I really like is I think that this movie, very underrated, but gave us one of the best fight sequences that we've had the entire year where they are going down a hallway and then it's spinning around and it's focusing on different characters for this scene and then it's focusing on different characters for this scene. And, um... I like the way that they are able to transition from scene to scene very seamlessly. And then the song N No Diggity was such a perfect song to play. I think that this uh, movie did a really good job of picking a lot of more like 80s based music because it's a movie that takes place in the past and um, it 
well, it's not a movie that takes place in the past, but it's a movie about these characters who are very big icons that kind of started being these big icons back in the 80s, the 90s, whatever. And uh, I like the fact that it kind of kept that identity that it's always kind of had with them. And uh, I love that. I thought that that movie is very underrated, but one of the best movies that's came out this year by far. So um, I think that that sequence doesn't get talked about enough. And I loved it. Um, a couple other quick ones that I want to say. I think that it's funny that in the month of April, there were two movies that came out starring Chris Pratt in the lead role. Uh, oh, wait, no. Guardians of the Galaxy came out and made it in it. But either way, in April and May, there was like a three-week period where there were multiple movies that came out starring Chris Pratt in the lead role where they used the song um, No Sleep Till Brooklyn because it was also in the Mario movie, which I thought was absolutely great. Um, not a very noticeable needle drop, but I really loved the use of... Um, the Ty Verdes song in the Shazam Fury of the Gods whenever they enter the lair and they're playing I don't even remember what song it was but it was just like such a like nice young hip song that it would make sense that they would be playing in this little like kids hangout area and I thought that that was cool um but yeah I think that that's for the most part all of the main ones that I wanted to touch on um I don't really have that much that I wanted to talk about this video was going to be quick and short and simple and to the point and I think that that was uh, quick and simple and to the point. Um, another one that I want to give a quick shout out for, this one isn't really fandom, but um, I've heard the song so many times and I've now seen the scene that um, it corresponds to at the movie. I still haven't seen the movie, but I've seen the scene that it corresponds to. Uh, Murder on the Dance Floor in the movie Saltburn. Great song. Love it. Um, I don't necessarily know if that counts as a needle drop, but like it was a cool scene and it was a cool song. And I know that people are going to be listening to that song a lot now because it's already all over social media and stuff but yeah that being said that was it for this video guys very quick simple and short one for you guys today thank you guys so much for coming by and checking it out i love it appreciate you guys i promise i'm getting back to my normal content soon holiday season mixed with working five days a week mixed with being sick and having car problems makes it a little harder but i'm trying my best to get back to my regular routine that being said that was it for this video, guys. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bow. 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 He wanted me to come, but first I did this. We planned a day, and then we did this. Wanna be in love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn, I'll rid this. I like this when I run the distance. I run the five kids for Felicis. I wanna live within the business. Buying more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big because I know you're a physicist. I wanna deny this shit. I'm unlimited.